Hey guys, welcome back. So today we're out at the range. Today is Memorial Day. And uh, yeah, as many times these videos are filmed days, sometimes weeks in advance. And uh, today is actually Memorial Day and I just wanted to come out here and do a little bit of shooting with a handgun that uh, I've, I've had now for a little while. I haven't done any shooting with it just yet. Today will be the first range session with it. I have a lot more shooting to do with it, of course, here in the near future. But uh, today is a day of remembrance for all of those who gave their lives in service to our country. Guys, this isn't a drunken three-day holiday. Um, well, I, mean, I guess it is for a lot of folks, but it's a day that we are supposed to remember all those who gave their lives in service to our nation, and I want to thank all of those who have served our country. So, on a more positive note, let's talk about this Agency Arms Glock 17. Now, how did I come into possession of this handgun? Well, that's an interesting story. And so let's just get the full disclosure out of the way. I posted a picture on Instagram sometime last year about a Agency Arms Glock 17 that a customer of, a customer of ours had ordered in through Copper Custom. We weren't stocking the guns, we had ordered it for our customer. And the customer had a problem with the slide cracking right here. Now, you'll notice the deep cuts that Agency Arms puts into their, their slides. You'll see some of their serrations here. This is all done by Agency Arms. And those cuts can come somewhat close to the slide rails. Well, one of, the, one of them had cracked. And people can crack those slide rails themselves simply by not using the proper tools to switch out sights, for example. Well, anyway, so I posted pictures of that crack saying this is one of the reasons why I'm concerned about these types of slide cuts on Glocks. And, uh, and I'd mentioned that we were having a hard time getting a hold of Agency Arms. Well, it turns out that the customer service person that we were having a hard time getting in touch with is no longer with the company. And I guess he had some other complaints against him because he wasn't responding to customer support requests. Uh, so anyway, that prompted Agency to reach out to me. Uh, they were very apologetic, of course. And, uh, and they assured me that's not the way that they do business. And I've somewhat confirmed that because I've surfed the internet forums quite a bit since then. And what I've found is that most people that do business with Agency Arms, first of all, absolutely love their guns. And second of all, rave about how good their customer service is. Now, regarding those cracks in the slide, uh, sometimes, and this is just what I've been told and from what I've gathered from my research online, um, you know, manufacturing isn't a precise thing. And, and Many times, even with Glock, when they're manufacturing these slides, the tolerances left and right can vary ever so slightly. Well, if you get a slide that has those rail cuts in the slide just a little bit off, that few thousandths of an inch can make a difference when agency goes through and makes their slide cuts. They warranty it though. So if you do have a crack because of that variance, they will fix it, all right? So that's how I came into possession of this gun. Now this gun was given to me by agency arms and they gave it to me because they wanted me to shoot the snot out of it and see if I could break it. And so that's what I'm gonna do. So this gun I did not buy. They did fix our customer's gun. This gun was given to me by Agency Arms with the purpose of me trying to break it. And the way I'm gonna do that, guys, is just I'm gonna run a lot of ammunition through it this summer, this fall. I'll keep reporting back. You definitely will see me with the gun. Uh, in the future. Today is its actual first range session, and so we're just getting it sighted in. It has a RMR, Trijicon RMR on top. You'll notice that Mike at Blown Deadline, who did the paint job on this gun, and he is an absolute magician. Uh, the guy does incredible Cerakote work, all the work done to this gun. This is, uh, in terms of the, the paint and the coloration and the distressing, is done by Blown Deadline, and then all the slide cuts, of course, are done by Agency Arms. So when I got the gun, um, I've always been a, a, an admirer of Mike at Blown Deadline's work, so I sent the gun out to him to have it customized. I turned it into a Boba Fett blaster. That's what the color scheme is. And um, it, they, they, Mike, not they, Mike, even painted the RMR to match the paint scheme of the gun. So today we're gonna come out and uh, just start shooting the gun. I brought out some American Steel, which is some steel-cased ammunition from uh, Freedom Munitions. It's their budget line ammunition. It's a steel case, but it has a brass plating over it. I've explained it before, but it's affordable and it's a target load. It's not super hot. So if a gun will run that, it'll pretty much run anything. At least that's my theory. Now I will shoot other types of ammunition through this Agency Arms gun. Uh, I'm definitely gonna shoot some hot stuff like the Fiocchi, uh, which is 124 grain ball. It's loaded up to NATO specs, which is some pretty warm ammunition and hollow points, anything else I can think of to shoot out of it. So anyway, that's what the purpose of the video today is, is to come out, just kind of clear my head, do a little bit of shooting. This afternoon, we're gonna have uh, dinner with the in-laws. I'm at their, their property today doing the shooting uh, of this video. And uh, so I just wanted to sight the gun in, do some shooting, have some fun with it, and then have a Memorial Day 
meal and remember all those again who have given their lives in service to our nation. Generally speaking, I don't like stippled jobs. I think they look bad when they're poorly done. I think that they feel rough. Many of them feel like 60 grit sandpaper when they rub up against your skin if you're using it as a concealed carry gun. It's just uncomfortable. This stipple job is nice and subtle. It gives good traction, and I really do like that shelf, again, right here for my thumb. But in my hand, it feels really, really good. It gives me a positive grip, but I can carry it against my side. And it's not like, again, running 60 grit sandpaper against my skin. So that much I can say I like quite a bit. I uh, actually like this stipple job. It's one of the few. Yeah, once you get used to Glocks, they're kind of easy to like. So controllable. Now again, it is some um, range ammunition. It's not hot, you know, loaded as hot as a self-defense load. So controllable. And again, that flat face trigger. Yeah, that thing's really, really got me. Uh, kind of excited. I love the way that thing feels. I want a flat face trigger on all of my guns. <laughs> Another thing that's kind of fun, you'll notice me doing this with the gun. I can put my hand on top of the gun to run the action and that sight acts as, you know, snag point, which, I don't know, different. Even though I'm shooting that fast, that little, uh, that little six inch plate, it's just super easy to control and that dot is super easy to pick up. All right guys, let's just be honest here for a second. If you're gonna have a Boba Fett blaster, dang it, you need a Boba Fett holster to go with it. This holster is from the guys over at Tidex Holsters. I found them on Instagram as well. They've done a whole bunch of themed holsters I've seen. I followed their page. And so I contacted them about doing a Boba Fett holster, which they had been doing uh, because I had gotten this agency gun in. I'd already sent it out to Mike at Blown Deadline for a paint job, but I just had to have the Kydex holster to go with it. So check that out. Pretty cool, I know. If you open carry this thing, yes, you're a geek. Yes, I'm gonna do it. And I'll probably wear it to, uh, the Star Wars movie that's coming out this December. <laughs> it's cool, come on. You know it's cool. You want one, don't you? I know some of you are sitting there making fun of me and you're gonna type a snarky comment, but I'm an unapologetic Star Wars fan. I mean, I'm old enough, oh boy, here we go, to have actually seen the original movie in the theaters in 1977. Did I just date myself or what? Doesn't change the fact I have a Boba Fett blaster. <laughs> All right, guys, I'm gonna go ahead and start packing things in and get ready for our, our dinner this evening. So far, I'm enjoy shooting the agency Glock. I, I, I see no problems with the slide serrations or any issues with cracking in the frame. I'll keep you guys posted. Like I said, I got a lot more shooting to do with this gun and uh, I'm gonna see if I can't put, you know, five or 6,000 rounds through it this summer. I do enjoy shooting Glocks, although I don't carry one anymore. But this one, if I was gonna carry one, I definitely would want this stippled job. 
Again, I'm really kind of a fan of the way agency does that. It's a very fine stippling that actually feels pretty darn good in my hands and doesn't uh, feel like sandpaper on my side. And I'm definitely a fan of, especially those front side serrations, those things just look good. And of course the Boba Fett paint job by Blown Deadline makes the whole thing, right? <laughs> All right, guys, I hope, uh, hope you guys had a safe Memorial Day. And uh, thank you guys for watching the channel. Please do join the NRA. I have a link down below. It is a special link. Please get in the fight to help us roll back some of these draconian gun laws. That's what the NRA is working for for the next four years. And that link down below, I do get a kickback from it, but I donate every single cent to Hero Hunt, which is a nonprofit organization that helps military veterans and first responders, police, fire, EMT, gets them out in the field, gets them hunting, and helps them. It's a very noble cause. I'll put a link to them down below as well. If you guys would like to support the Military Arms Channel, the best possible way, guys, is to join up on our Patreon page. Become a subscriber. We have lots of stuff as a thank you that we sell to you guys way below map pricing. We're finding closeout deals on all sorts of stuff firearms related, and we're passing those savings directly along to you, the Patreon subscribers, as a thank you for supporting the Military Arms Channel. Our YouTube earnings are still 60, 70% down. And if you'd like to support the Military Arms Channel another way, just swing by and shop at Copper Custom. We have a lot of really good products there, and I will, uh, you know, always ask that you guys come by and see me there. I mean, a lot of fans are surprised that they actually walk into Copper Custom and I'm, I'm right there. And if I'm in town, not out filming somewhere, I get phone calls from the guys saying, hey, we got a fan in from so-and-so or wherever, and I'll drop everything, come in to shake your hand, hand you a patch, and say thank you for watching the channel because you guys mean the world to me. Also, if you'd like to support uh, firearms channels on a firearms-friendly website, check out Full30.com. That's Full30.com. We've taken all the web's best firearms content creators and brought them under one roof, and that is Full30.com. Thanks for watching. Thanks for all those years of support, and we will talk to you guys soon. <laughs> now if it just shot little rays of light, and be more like a Boba Fett blaster.